your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at our top stories this afternoon. A Defer woman has been charged with two felonies for embezzling money from her grandmother. The Attorney General's office says 29-year-old Brittany Guilfoyle forged checks payable to herself and her husband. More than $1,000 was taken. If found guilty, well, Gilfoy faces up to 19 years in prison and a fine. She is back in court on the 17th. Northwood University announcing a major donation for its first endowed athletic fund. The Strohsacker Foundation awarding $500,000 to fund the David J. Arnold football endowment. It will help fund coaching salaries, player financial aid, equipment, and team travel. It's named after Arnold, who spent the last 12 years as a volunteer assistant coach. In his career, spanning more than five decades, Arnold has coached seven NFL Hall of Famers and a Heisman Trophy winner. He served as an assistant coach for two national championships at the University of Miami. Well, attention all Saginaw businesses and organizations. The city is seeking groups to sponsor bunnies for a scavenger hunt for the upcoming Memorial Cup. 21 bunnies scattered around the region will include QR codes, and each sighting gives people an entry to win valuable prizes at the hockey tournament being played at the Dow Event Center. Businesses looking to sponsor a bunny can go to the hot link section of WNEM.com. Now here's Diane to look at your forecast. We are done with the snowfall for today, so that means our roadways will start to improve. That gives crews time to clean up anything that might be remaining as far as the slippery spot. But we are not done yet with the snowfall. Jumping into your hour by hour forecast for the rest of today, we may pick up a flurry or two coming off of the lakes, but overall not going to be impactful. So this is the time to inhale, catch our breath, because overnight we do have snowfall that's going to be moving in. I have the clock here at 3 a.m., but mainly after midnight, we're going to find snow chances start to bump back up. So we will have widespread snow by 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m. This is the ripe time that a lot of us are heading to work and school. So we're going to be watching once again for slippery roadways. So we're first alerting you to set your alarm 15, maybe 20 minutes early. Give yourself extra time. You don't want to be rushed and you want to be able to drive a little bit slower if we're talking snowy roads since temperatures are going to be below the freezing mark. One thing to also consider though is if road crews have enough time today. I know they're working hard, but do they have enough time to salt the roadways tonight before bed to where that salt? It's still going to be effective temperature wise, but if we have the salt, hopefully treated roadways can make the commute a little bit easier tomorrow morning. As we go into Thursday, Day afternoon by lunchtime. A lot of the snow is wrapping up. We'll just have once again a little bit of that lingering snow action, but conditions really do start to hit the pause button for a little bit. We're going to find Friday morning it's quiet, but we are tracking a storm for the back half. But let's first talk about that Thursday morning system. It's going to be here for just a short period of time that our snow totals. We're going to be looking at about an inch to two inches across mid Michigan, a little bit higher chance to see that two inches, maybe an isolated three in some of our northern zones. But overall, we are anticipating our, our main concern to be those slick spots on roadways. So that's why we're first alerting you to give yourself some extra time on Thursday morning to get out the door and to get there safe and sound. So just so you can drive at some of those slower speeds. We also want to first alert you to the latest information. We have that first alert weather day that's going to be for Friday and Saturday. So going into the weekend, we're anticipating some travel impacts. So that could impact your plans because we're going to be looking at snow and wind to be in this forecast. We have the center of the storm that's going to be coming in Friday morning. So into the afternoon, we'll have that snow that builds in. There is a rain and snow line in this one, but the snow chances are looking likely and they'll even carry a snowy setup as we go into Saturday. So as far as the impacts for that Friday, Saturday time frame, the strong winds are going to be one to watch as far as those power outages and reduced visibilities. It can blow that snow round drifting going to be a concern as well. And the snow several inches is going to be possible within this one, considering it's going to start Friday night and last into Saturday morning. Then we'll even have the lake effect coming in behind it. So that's why you'll see snow, ch snow chances later into the forecast. Highs during this time are going to be dropping. We go from the 30s to the 20s and even the teens for next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.